making headlines today is milkman Tony Fowler. Now, yesterday, uh, Tony went to meet the Queen to collect his MBE. Congratulations. Um, although he was warned by Her Majesty's aides that the Queen would not be amused, he still went ahead and decided to collect his award dressed as a Frisian cow. <laughs> he said, my wife Anne is not pleased about me going as a cow, but I just wanted to do something different. So, did he do the right thing? And to what extent um, would you like to stand out from the crowd, ladies? <laughs> I think he's fantastic. I think that's absolutely great. He's made a big effort, hasn't he? I think yeah. to make it individual and different. I think the Queen will quite like that. She's, he didn't she's really got a great look like sense a cow, of though, did he? Well, nobody was. Nonetheless, I think he was. I thought he looked, you know, cowish. But standing out from the crowd, I know. I have to confess, I've always been very happy to stand out from the crowd. I think you're either comfortable, aren't you, standing out from the crowd, or or you're not. And I just always have felt very happy with that. I, I actually don't you're feel... You're a show-off. Well, I, I, I don't yes. like blending. Can I be really honest? I, I, I don't do blending. I, don't, I just don't. I mean, I've always been like it, even when I was little. I mean, my mum used to say, do you have to draw quite so much attention to yourself, my darling? And I'd just say, well, yes, I do, actually. So you like that? You like like the attention. Well, I think it's to do with being a performer. I, I just like being on a stage with lots of people looking at me, and they say, you know, all the world's stage, don't they? And I, I think it's just an extension of that. If oh. I go to a party, you know, I, I go in there smiling and wanting to make contact, and I completely expect people to want to talk to me, and, you know, and I want to talk to them. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Did I you just, just say that out loud? I did. I like talking to people, <laughs> and I think that's what life's all about. So, there you go. That's, that's why I'm here. It's, but it's fabulous oh, that you oh, have that oh. confidence. <laughs> I don't take any credit for it. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never been shy with conversation, but I, I suppose in terms of trying to um, draw attention to yourself, and if I was going out for a night, for example, in a big party, I would probably wear black in the hope that I didn't stand out. And I, I, I don't want to be looked at and talked about in but that you're way. You're so gorgeous. How could you not stand out, my darling? I mean, I think well, no, but I would, you know when you've, you know, you've got, I've got a friend, right, who is brilliant. I love this woman to pieces. She's got. Um, in her head, she's a size eight, and, and in reality, she's not. Um, but <laughs> she dresses like a supermodel, and she struts like one, and she's so happy and so confident, and oh, I wish that. the world had more of those people, because Definitely. she just does it for me, you know? Yeah, she's got vavoo, really yeah, rare, rare, but to be celebrated and to be learnt from, I think. Mm, so I wish I had a bit more of that, because I would normally be found in a corner. Mm. Um, I've got a bit of um, admiration for Cowman. I, I like the idea of him going there in front of the Queen. And, I mean, he, you're right, Kate, he didn't look anything like no. a cow. He just looked like he'd spilt his dinner down his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, he was kind of promoting his work and his job, yeah. and, you know, as a milkman. So, I, you know, I, I think he's got a lot of bottle, actually. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> to be a little bit different but I don't I'm not like you I don't I don't particularly like a lot of people staring at me to go out on stage like you do in front of all those people I, there's no way I couldn't do it um, and people do tend to stare at me because I'm tall. You're six foot seventy five. No, I'm not. <laughs> but, um, yes, people yes. think I'm small because I'm sitting down here and I look the same height as everybody, but I'm not. I'm much taller than everybody else. So, but I don't particularly like that. However, when we go to do's together, I ask everybody what they're wearing, and I wear yeah. the opposite. Mm. So if everyone's wearing long dresses, I'll wear really short dress, and if everyone's wearing black, I'll wear bright red or something. You see, that's to stand out. Yeah, but that's how you it. used to. Though, you so used to be a Leslie because you did dress to stand out. Well, when, when you were I, a yeah, punk, yeah. Look. When I was younger and I was a punk, yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. I, this is I, not somebody that wants to blend. I tried really hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it like Carol? That's actually Carol oh, McGiffin. My goodness. Oh, do you know what? Such a rubbish punk, because look, I'm wearing a rust polo neck. <laughs> <laughs> when did you ever see a punk wear that? But look at those eyes. Oh, that, I mean, that, no, that is an outfit that says, look actually, at Actually, that, that reminds me. Of, I had to wear a Jean Paul Gaultier outfit once, talking of standing out. I was doing this opera at the English National Opera, and I had to wear. Uh, you know when he did those Madonna big conical, what's the names? <laughs> Am I, I getting it? Brass. Oh, God, you got... 
the picture. Look, there's that you. That's me. That's me. I know. Leslie, I love ba -ba wearing that. I just love wearing that. I love wearing that so much. I took it off on stage. They actually asked me to whip it off, and I did. Very in front yeah. of people. You've got oh, your to say, shocking I, exhibitionist. I, 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 have, I, have, I have a bit. friend who is really goes out to actually make an exhibition of herself because she wants to be noticed all the time. But I think that's a little bit sad because you know you kind of get your comeuppance in the end, don't you? Because people go, oh, stop it. Mm. But I went for a part once, and it was a prostitute in a big a film, and I thought, oh, brilliant. And the guy said to me, they're American producers, so you just go dressed as a prostitute because you know. So I said, okay. But he said, it's at the Dorchester, so go in the back entrance for goodness <laughs> sake. There's a back lift and go. I went, okay. So I've got ripped stockings, makeup all over the place, everything, all hanging out. Went in the back entrance, went up the lift, got into the room, and they went, oh my God, you know, you're a real pro. And I went, oh no, no, I'm not a real one. But anyway, so it was great. Came out the door, couldn't find the lift. So I walked along the corridor and found the main lift. So I go down and opened up onto the, <laughs> onto the, onto the front of the Dorchester at the reception. <laughs> and as I walked out, you could see these guards going, zzzm. <laughs> <laughs> and they came straight and they went, we don't allow ladies like you in here. Come on. <laughs> and threw me out of the Dorchester. I kept saying, no, no. And they went, oh, no, we know. I have never been for an audition. He said, they all say that. <laughs> No, uh, I wasn't a very good prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> OK, don't know what to say to that. OK, now you may not know this, but we are the current title holders of the TV Quick and TV Choice Award for the best daytime show. And voting has... Thank you. Oh. Yay. Two years on the trot, can we make it a hat trick? That's the question. Voting is now open for the shortlist for this year's nominations and we would love to win the trophy again. So, if you like what we do on air and uh, you want to lend your support uh, to us or any of this year's nominees, of course, it's not just us, you know. <laughs> the address, itv.com forward slash loose women.